simultaneous requirements again because I keep getting questions about this. Let's say we have a shaft with a key seat on one end and a pair of flats on the other. The question is how well do they have to be oriented to each other? On the drawing they're shown at 90 degrees so we know what the goal is. But what's controlling their perpendicularity to one another? Well let's take a look at the drawing. The large diameter is called out as datum feature A because it rides in a bearing. And then the flats and the key seat each have a position tolerance relative to the datum axis. But there's no mention of their relationship to each other. Let's say I have a V pulley on one end and a friction disc on the other. <laughs> I really wouldn't care about the relationship. But if I had a timing gear on one end and a cam on the other, I would care a great deal. Well, since they have the same datum reference according to the simultaneous requirements rule, they have to also be perpendicular to one another within their tolerance zones. If you do not want to require this relationship, you have to add the abbreviation separate requirements or SEPREQT under each of the position tolerances. Doing this will help keep the cost down. So if you do not care about cost, don't bother. Hey, be sure to visit our website to download this and over a hundred other tips and I'll see you next month unless you're out looking for a new job.